Hello, this is Ryan Riccatelli with ASNews.net and the Kiteboarder Magazine, and we are in the Airrush booth with Clinton Fillin, right? Did I pronounce that right? Yeah, close enough. All right, and uh, Clinton and I, I've known you for four years, haven't seen him in a while, so it's great to catch up with him, but uh, he's involved in the product design of Airrush, and uh, he's going to take us through the Airrush product. So uh, what's going on with Airrush? Well, there's a couple of new and exciting things uh, for this year, and looking at surf lines, looking at twin tips, you know, really making a broad spectrum of, of products that appeal for riders. You know, we try to not define how people ride, just make the tools. So, uh, what's exciting? Converses. So, as you know, we worked with Felix to develop the Converse line. Uh, three sizes, 5.6, a 6.0 and a 6.4. For this year we did quite a bit of work on the constructions. We have a limited edition wood version and we have a standard construction. The standard construction has a wood top and the limited edition is a full PVC sandwich top and bottom and then it has an additional wood area in the deck area so making it super lightweight, still surfable, still that is uh, really light. Really bomb proof board that you can ride hard, that you can ride strap, strapless. And this is the board that Felix Pivik rides? Yeah, this is the 6.0 that he developed together with Jeff Pepper on the North Shore, so did a lot of work on that. And uh, yeah, a lot of work in the constructions, getting the feel and the response that they're looking for, and getting the durability that you can vlog them. Awesome. And I see you guys have a bunch of twin tips. Yeah, so um, still a lot happening in the twin tip market. Uh, as before, our high-end twin tip is a pro toy. That's uh, PVC core with uh, wood I-beam internally, double concave bottom, but just our premium freestyle machine, trying to get them as light as possible, get the durability in there, and uh, get the response that the guys are looking at. And what rider would this board uh, really appeal to? Well, we try to make a board that's versatile for competitions, easy to use, and uh, has the performance in less than perfect conditions. So, you know, we run a double concave bottom and flip tips. It makes the board a lot easier to do things on, easier to ride, easier to throw around. Right on. You guys have how many twin tips in the line? Well, we have basically six, six uh, models or five, five core lines, and then with the Pro Toy being the high end, going down to the ride, which is our entry level. And also pretty cool this year is we have all new x pack which is vertical wood core, um, yeah, good durable construction, not too expensive that you can vlog, and uh, have good all round free ride, freestyle performance. Well, tell us about the kites. Kite wise, for this year, we've got two main uh, lines: the, the flow and the and the vapor. The vapor is a five line configuration. Which one's this one? Yeah, that's the vapor over there. So, looking at a a flat five design. We, we don't use the word bow kite when we talk about a five line kite. And don't mention bow kite around Felix Pivik either. No, no, we don't do that either. <laughs> so um, we, uh, we have the Vapor, which is our, our uh, flat five design. Then new for this year is what we call the generator, which is still a dedicated sea kite. We developed that with um, Felix and, and with Tom Herbert. So they won't write anything else. So we put a lot of work into making a really good sea kite. That, yeah, no hype, no bullshit, just a good kite, and um, maybe it's a niche, but uh, there's a lot of guys. There are a lot of guys who like to ride in that, and what, what is this little kite here? Um, yeah, on the other side of the spectrum is our, our trainers, and what we made, we try to make a really simple functional kite, which was the DNA. Most of them are three strut design, less, less moving parts, more functional, easy to use. Um, yeah, depowerable, good fast steering, easy to relaunch. Some of the riders, like Jeff, was riding the 9 meter DNA. That was his only kite. Super simple, easy to use, does everything. He's a um, yeah, huge fan of the product and uh, kind of a move away from the techie side of, of kiting. Keep it simple. As a brand, we try to avoid gimmicks, and it's quite tough in the industry sometimes where everybody wants bells and whistles, and we just want it to work really well. Well, what about the bar? Why don't you take us to the bar here? Yeah, the bar is kind of the epitome of what we were talking about, keeping everything super functional and simple. So there's no shit on the bar. Everything that's <laughs> there is there to do something specific. So uh, 
We have a stopper system that's pretty versatile. Either you can set it up in a partial lock mode, or you can adjust it that it is a full lock, so you can run it as a as, as set length. We have what we call bar release safety. That means there's a fair amount of travel on the bar that you can uh, have beyond a certain amount of trim. We think of that as kind of a uh, you're working deep power to there, and then that's bar release safety as you go beyond that point. Um, molded uh, aluminium center rivet, so that's a whole um, single part that's in internally there. Really good for line wear and um, trigger release housing, which is become a standard for us cleat system or you can run a strap but for us the cleats are super functional again less stuff on the bar less hassle easier to use more durable well and uh, what is this little board here so um, yeah I mean I uh, live at a kind of dead onshore spot and you know, we're really starting to get a lot of fun out of kiting in straight onshore and the reality is not everywhere is down the line six foot um, so what we try to do is was take a board that was just a toy that's throw around factor and you could ride down the line if you need to do that you could kind of combine the idea of a skimboard the kind of throw around ability of a skimboard with a bit more of the, the surfability of a surfboard so full surf rail slack